You can learn this cinematic title animation in only 5 minutes and I'm going to show you exactly how, so let's get started. As you can see, I already have my clip on the timeline, so step 1 is to create the text. We need to hit T on our keyboards and then click anywhere on the screen right here. In order to stylize our text, we need to go to the effect controls panel right here and then right here, as you can see, we have all the controls that we need. If you want some cinematic font suggestions, I'll put some on the screen right here so you can pick one. Now we're going to make the text smaller and we're also going to change the tracking a little bit to space out the letters. So the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some shadows to make it a little bit more dimensional. And in order to do this, we're gonna go right here and we're going to tick the box in front of shadows. Okay, I think this looks good. Now, if you want, you can stylize it some more. And when you've done that, you need to repeat those steps for your subtitles. So now we can move on to the animation part. Firstly, we're going to animate the position of the text so it flies in like this. So in order to do this, what we need to do is we need to go to effect controls and then enable the stopwatch in front of position. Now, as you can see, this diamond thingy right here was created and this is called a keyframe. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to change the position of the text and this keyframe will basically contain that information. So let's just say that I want the text to end here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this keyframe all the way to the end. And as you can see, the toggle hat is still here. So now if we change the horizontal value, you'll see that another keyframe has been automatically created with that new value. So now what we want to do is we want to move this one all the way to the beginning. And now we have a very linear animation. Now to make this animation smoother, what we need to do is we need to select both of the keyframes and then right click on it and then click on Bezier, Bezier, Bez, Bezier. All right, so now you see these little handles right here. We can grab them and we can change the curve, which affects the speed of the transition. All right, so the next effect is a nice fade in and fade out. To do this, we have to create keyframes for the opacity. So again, we click on the stopwatch to create our first keyframe at 100%, as you can see right here. And then we want to move this one to about here because this is where we want the fade in to stop and where we want it to be 100% visible. Now what we need is another keyframe at 100%. So we're going to click on this diamond thingy right here, the keyframe to create another one. And we're going to move this to the end to about here. All right, now we need to change the value to zero. So the text is fully gone and we're going to move that keyframe all the way to the beginning. We're going to create another keyframe, set it to zero and then move it all the way to the end. By the way, if you want to change the value of any of the keyframes, instead of just changing the value, you will create another keyframe. So what I would recommend you to do is to click on the arrows right here to navigate from one keyframe to the other keyframe. All right, now it is time to add some blur. So what we need to do is we need to go to effects right here. And if you don't see that, go to window and then click on effects and then type in blur. Now drag and drop the Gaussian blur right here to our title layer. And as you can see, it just appeared right here in the effect controls. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same, but the exact opposite of what we just did. Confusing? We're going to create two keyframes at zero, and then we're going to align those with the opacity keyframes that are set to 100. Now, if you want, you can also choose to unblur the text a little bit slower than the fade. So I will leave that up to you. In that case, just move the keyframe a little bit further than the opacity keyframe right here. And then we have to create two keyframes at 100 or 30 or 50 or whatever looks right to you. And we want to align those with the first and the last opacity keyframes. So now that we have animated one text layer, we need to do the same for the next text layer. But don't worry, we don't have to repeat all the steps. What we're going to do is we're going to select the title and then hit Ctrl C or Command C. Now right click on the subtitle and then click on paste attributes. Now we can paste all of the effects, including the keyframes, but the only thing that we do have to do is we have to change the position so it flies in from the opposite side. All right, there's one last step and that is add some cinematic sound design to really make your title come alive. And you can learn how to do that by clicking on this video right here. 